Good morning, friends, and it's good to be with you once again. Now, whether we realise it or not, we all have influence over somebody. It's what we do with our influence that determines whether it's negative or positive. Now, some sociologists theorise that even the shyest and most introverted person will influence about 10,000 people over their lifetime. That's mind-blowing, isn't it? 10,000 people. And every interaction we have with another person either enriches or impoverishes them. Influence is never neutral. So it's important that we try to be aware of the influence we're having so we're not leading others towards things that are harmful or ungodly. Now the Bible says in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. So we need to try to develop those qualities and then we'll be better equipped to be a good influence on everyone we interact with. The bad news is that it's not easy to live up to all these qualities all the time. But the good news is that it is possible when we're under the influence of God's Spirit. Salvation is our starting point, but we need to spend time each day under the influence of Jesus. Otherwise, we'll stay in one place without moving or growing. We won't mature, we won't maximise the spiritual gifts he's given us, and we won't discover and fulfil our God-given assignments in life. And we need to let God's influence on us shine through every conversation, every thought, every action, and every word, so that others can be positively influenced through us. And so, if you use social media, can I suggest that before posting anything or commenting on anything this week, stop and check with God if it's really going to have a positive influence on people. And if not, then don't post it. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. God of truth, help us to keep your law of love and to walk in ways of wisdom, that we may find true life in Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. And the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen.